Welcome back everyone to GGN. This is part two for this news report for today for Wednesday, September 18th, 2013. All right, I'm ready to go. Household income, poverty, hold steady, and number of uninsured declines. So this is your basic propaganda piece for McClatchy and the mainstream media uh, telling you that everything is going to be okay. The nation's elevated poverty rate and stagnant medium household income show no meaningful changes in 2012. So here you go, medium income static uh, before the re recession, after the quote recession. I call it the wealth consolidation operation in 2008. And, uh, you know, so it's been down here. So they drop it down there. That's the new norm. And then it'll go down, another crash, and then that'll be the new norm. So that's how they do gas prices as well, right? But the poverty rate remains high at 15%. Um, next up, median household income has fallen for five years in a row. If the economy keeps getting better, then why do we, uh, why do incomes keep falling? According to a shocking new report that was just released by the U.S. Census Bureau, it says that household income adjusted for inflation has declined for five years in a row. It says this is even though the federal government has been borrowing and spending money at an unprecedented rate. And, yeah, you know, the problem is that you have these kind of libertarian or conservative or just alternative media sites that use these words like they perpetuate, you know, civil war in Syria, the reckless money printing spree. This is their job. Their job is to, is to rob from people, to have them buy worthless things so that they can print money, create debt. Americans are working harder than ever, but the paychecks are not reflecting that. So, you know, and that's, that's part of the wealth consolidation operation. They're... They're still stealing from you like they were before. They're just stealing more. So, and as far as uh, prices go, um, prices being high, they're only going to get higher. And, you know, someone made a good point about uh, organic and how you can find organic at, like, Walmart for a decent price. And the reason is is because Walmart buys from these, um, they, ba they basically buy from these suppliers that undercut everybody. And what you're going to have is, um, they buy in volume, of course, but... What you're going to have is these companies just undercut, undercutting all of these more, uh, smaller, more family-oriented uh, businesses, um, these organic businesses, and they're going to put them out of business by, by, by uh, basically undercutting them, making their prices way lower. And then once they do that, you're going to see a huge hike in, uh, in organic uh, prices. A Dutch king tells citizens to take responsibility as the prime minister implements austerity. He wrote in on his... Uh, gold, I guess gold car or something like that, but uh, says here they herald the end of the welfare state on Tuesday uh, as the fifth largest Eurozone economy presented austerity driven budget for 2014, saying the classic welfare state is slowly but surely turning into a society of participation. So I don't, I don't really know what that, what that means, participation. I guess he was being, uh, uh, traveling through the streets of an ornate in an ornate, horse-drawn, golden carriage, so the transformation would be particularly noticeable in society for social security and long-term health care policies. Amid slow economic recovery, of course, like I said, they got to keep people hingy on this recovery that's going to happen inevitably. More Americans identify as lower class. A small but surging share of Americans consider themselves to be lower class, a surprise to some researchers and activists despite the bruising economy. The co-founder for Arise for Social Justice says, when people call themselves lower class, will say, you're not uh, lower than someone else, you just have less money. But uh, technically, you know, in this uh, money system run by banks, uh, where money, uh, basically the monetary system is religion, the money is, is God, they worship money by having a lot more of it. So technically they are lower on the economic social hierarchy. A gap in employment rates between rich and poor at widest levels and records dating back a decade from September 16th. The gap in employment rates between America's highest and lowest income families has stretched to its widest levels since the officials began tracking the data a decade ago, ago according to the AP. Rates of unemployment for the, those earning less than $20,000 have topped 21% nearly, matching the rate for all workers during the 1930s Great Depression. At the same time, middle-income workers are increasingly pushed into lower-wage jobs. Many of them, in turn, are displacing lower-skilled, low-income workers who become unemployed uh, or are forced to work fewer hours. So, you know, that's why I always find kind of funny um, 
I always find it kind of funny when people say that um, they're going to call us off, kill us all off, send us into FEMA camps and, and kill us all off. Well, that day may come, but uh, right now they like lots of people. They like the population numbers because it provides cheap labor. Uh, it's labor competing against each other, which drives down wages, and which is why they uh, uh, promote what they refer to as uh, the end of women discri uh, discrimination and women's rights uh, by putting them into the workforce to be uh, work slaves just as their male counterparts to again dri drive down wages and provide another uh, uh, source of taxes, tax income. The complete interactive financial states of America. Now they say here like many Americans since the recession hit, many have been thinking about moving around. Uh, on that note, I've noticed that the uh, people just moving in over here in uh, the Midwest are from Arkansas. I've seen some Arkansas people and um, Alabama people, so people from the south looking for work. Okay, so the uh, yellow, I guess it looks like a yellow, is 60 to 70,000. Of course, that's Virginia, D.C. Those are all uh, people that are representing you, your Congress and, and that, uh, all New England uh, rich people. Uh, 50,000 to 60,000 is the kind of the maroon, uh, believe it or not, Illinois. That's the corrupt uh, Chicago mega region. And of course, LA and California, uh, New York, and that. Uh, then you have uh, the red, which is 40 to 50,000, which kind of makes up the bulk of the Mid East, uh, Mid -East the Midwest, uh, the South, Plains, uh, even the Pacific Northwest. And then at the bottom, the orange, 30 to 40,000 again. Uh, you have West Virginia, just the armpit of America. Um, uh, who is this? Oh, yeah, New Jersey. Yeah, they had, they just broke some records recently. Arkansas and uh, Mississippi. Let's not forget about Alaska's actually up there, sixty to seventy thousand. But I think they they actually uh, have um, uh, their numbers are different. They get paid more, but everything's more expensive. Same with Hawaii. So money is created to be spent, right? Uh, they create uh, uh, they create debt so that you can work it off, so they can charge interest. Um, and that's how they make their money. That's the big scam is, is interest. So you get rid of usury and you solve the problems. Um, also, becoming self-sustainable. Um, people are spending all this money on, uh, on, on just crap. I mean, you used to be able to build a house yourself. Uh, people are, 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 are looking at it as an investment. No, you're a slave to, the, to your mortgage, to the banks and interest. That's 33% of their, uh, how Americans spent their money in 2012, 17% transportation. That's to the monopoly car industries that are subsidized by the government, along with, you know, housing and that, um, but uh, gas, you know. So uh, food, 13% spent on food. That's the third most. Again, people used to grow their own, but whatever, for whatever it's worth. 11% uh, spent on insurance, right? Gambling, you're gonna gamble. It's another type of usury system that could go, not even really worth it. Healthcare, everybody must have healthcare, like education, right? Well, not really. Your health is the only thing that you really have, and you can take care of it without a lot of money. Of course, if you have to get surgeries, well, then you're asking, you know, you get into a transhumanist uh, type philosophy where you really should be dead, but you want to extend your life. Well, then, you know, then don't bitch and complain. If you want to do that, you better be able to afford it, and you better uh, worship that dollar and sell your soul to get as much as you can so that you can live as long as you possibly can with the aid of, quote, health care. 5% uh, was uh, spent by the slaves on uh, getting brainwashed and told that their enslavement is proper and good and nothing's wrong. The averages are misleading, particularly when the rich are running away from the rest. The poor and the rich part of the income spent per 2012. Uh, bottom 20% is, um, is blue. The highest 20% is red. The poor f uh, food, clothes, and housing account for more than 60% of all spending the rich have uh, more left over for leisure, insurance, and savings. Uh, but I saw this article. I thought it was kind of interesting to uh, get the poor online, let them have cat videos so about getting internet to the poor. Um, and I saw this from September 11th. Census says Americans in poverty typically have cell phones, computers, TVs, VCRs, AC, washers, dryers, and microwaves. So my theory is as long as uh, the masses, the peasants, whatever, I think, you know, like I said before, Peasants technically had it better than we do today. We don't understand that. Living under these big, you know, living under big kingdoms or, say, being ruled by an empire like Mongolia, it's like, yeah, there are some things there, there are some drawbacks, but uh, you weren't actually enslaved as much as you were uh, by corporations and by the usury system now. 
um, you were actually more enslaved now than you were uh, under those types of old modern fuel systems. You can argue against that, but uh, the, the statistics show these people revolted back then. At least they had can get a little bit of freedom back. Well, what are people doing now? As long as they got cell phones and televisions and washer dryers and uh, high definition brainwashing televisions, everything's good to go. You know, the full bellies full of crap food, and you know nobody revolts. Nobody detaches from the system. Interesting thought. The whole point of you know, all these appliances, besides getting women to be useless in the house, was what? Um, was to uh, create a demand for electricity. So these big subsidized power companies can make money. Again, monopolies, duopolies. Make money off people, so you have to create some kind of demand for that. Oh yeah, you know, cl dish, uh, clothes washer, clothes dryer, dishwasher, refrigerator, which I gotta say, refrigerators are pretty nice, but um, food freezer, stove, microwave, air condition. So air condition has 83% of these poor people. Microwave is 93, stove 93%, refrigerator 97%. Uh, the poor people, almost 70% have washers and dryers. 83% have video recorder, DVDs, 96% television by no coincidence. 60% a computer, a telephone, 54%. Cell phone, 80%. Ask yourself, why in, during the New Deal under Roosevelt, and even before that, uh, why, why was he pushing telephones, electricity in every house, right? And why were they setting up telephone lines everywhere in the hills and the mountains back in the 1800s in the plains? Disseminate propaganda. You know, people shouldn't care about what the hell is going on in another part of the country. It's to tell them what they need to think, what they need to do, what they need to buy. Sugar is addictive and the most dangerous drug of the time, so, you know, it's like someone made a good point, uh, you know, people go to salt, it, it raises the blood pressure, and um, also people go to sugar as a form of, um, you know, sugary things are, when you're being dominated, you see all kinds of weird things in society, like we were talking about in the last video with dungeons, sex dungeons, and, and uh, uh, just real crazy stuff. Uh, sugar is something that would be, you know, definitely needed uh, to quell dissent and quell any type of resistance. It's a form of, it's kind of a form of pretty, uh, Treating depression, lowering blood pressure. And to a certain extent, I think that's why they want to legalize marijuana. Um, I mean, I, I don't have any problems with people smoking pot or anything. Um, it's just a matter of right now, can they make more off taxes or can they make more off it being illegal and charging people through bonds and court fees and stuff like that? But they do want it out there. So we're talking about bread and circuses, you know, Rome. Uh, it's been used before that term. To get the poor online, let them have cat videos, like let them eat cake, right? So unlike the Henry Kissingers and the uh, Huxleys and all them, Brzezinski's, these old kind of long windbags, the new elites are these tech leaders, right? Really, they're just fronts. Uh, they're just PR people that promote what's going on in the inner circles and in the inner core. They're reporting on it, and, uh, you know, they're kind of, in a way, just letting people know this is what what's, where we're going. But they say th it's good to get, uh, they're pushing for internet access to the third world. They need to lighten up a little, though. They said their uh, efforts are so serious. So, um, but, you know, a grave tone of social reformation. So, yeah, they're, they're philanthropists. They care about people, right? So they should, they should sell it as actually being fun, they say. Interesting, a New York Times writer says that um, they believe that uh, internet is a human right, right? But it says here that goofing off on the computer or chatting with friends online may not save the world. But it says here, entertainment can transform the society. There you go. That's why people ask me, so Darko, why, do you only, why don't you get more views? Why don't you get a couple hundred views? Because Miley Cyrus is getting, what, 100 million views? One third of the American population has seen her? Students find guys secretly living in their basement. So basically a student apartment, and they find a guy living in there. This is the this is the new. You hear about that a lot. You can't you can't really go anywhere. You can, to be outside and be homeless, you got to keep moving. If you you know if you don't, you're dead. They'll come after you. Not the residents, then the state. A homeless man returns backpack full of money, so two uh, thousand dollars worth of cash. So sounds real nice and everything, but um, I mean it's noble. But uh, seriously, it's kind of like give me a break, dude. Really. Now I'm not saying she just stole the money, but it's just like, they like putting these stories out there where just average people, especially poor people, do the right thing. Whereas people, you know, like the Rothschild, like this small clique that's stealing a generation's worth of wealth, uh, are stealing, and they're stealing, and banks are stealing, all this stealing is going on, and nobody says anything because they don't understand the system.
you know, but people need to change it themselves. You can't just blame these people. They want you to see these pictures because they want you to think that they have all the power. Well, we have the power to understand the system and stop it.